YouTubers, Lee John Blackmore here, Super Easy Guitar. So I'm doing another questions and answers uh, video because I've, you know, I had some good feedback from you guys and, and I've had some more emails come through. So let's get straight into it. Good evening, sir, LJB, exclamation mark. My name is Ben and I've, I'm from the other side of the globe. Hi, Ben, how's it going? Uh, being a slow starter, I finally picked up the guitar on my 40th birthday, and now, three years later, I'm a proud owner of a second-hand Mayton. Okay, I'm not sure uh, what guitar that is. It's Australian, but still good. Okay, and now I can't put the goddamn thing down. Good man. Well, you know, Ben, it's never too late to play guitar, uh, to start playing guitar. A lot of my students are like, guys that are retired and stuff like that, you know, uh, airline pilots and, and business owners and, and all sorts, it doesn't really matter. And it's, you know, it's never too late, is it? And just, yeah, keep on going with it, man. Uh, I just wanted to say your lessons are inspirational. Thanks, dude. And in my opinion, the best on YouTube. <laughs> I'm not quite sure about that, but I super, super appreciate the uh, feedback. In brackets, I have watched a lot of guitar porn. Now I think I know what you mean by that. Yeah, there's a lot of uh, there's a lot of this crazy there's a lot of this crazy stuff going on out there. A lot of lot of shots. Um, so yeah, man, that's this is you know this email really made my day the other day. Okay, and um, thank you very much. So Ben goes on to say they are concise, have good camera work, keep uh, keep it positive, and make songs I never thought I could. Pull off super easy, haha, <laughs> all right, that's kind of the idea. Uh, I've had a, a few, you know, emails saying, you're called super easy guitar, but some of your songs aren't super easy. Well, I kind of started off just doing this as a resource for my students. And, uh, you know, people ask me to do this song and that song. So I, you know, I'm trying, I try and help you guys out, you know? So some of the videos are super easy guys, some of them are more difficult, right? But you know, this is how it goes. Uh, two questions. This is still Ben. What's your favorite tipple and PO box number? Uh, my favorite tipple, wow. <laughs> I have many favorite tipples, my friend. Um, mainly bourbon, none in particular, but uh, I'm guessing you're from New Zealand because you go on to say, I have a third question. Uh, have you done t-shirt merch? Uh, yes, I have actually, but I still haven't printed any out yet. Um, I've got some designs over with a good buddy of mine. So they're on their way, actually. That's something that's been in the pipeline for the last six months, but I just haven't got my act together. So I will have t-shirts very soon and hopefully um, you, you guys will like them and, and perhaps I'll give some away for free as well. Um, and you go on to say uh, the supporters of your channel can pay uh, uh, as a way of uh, kahona, uh, in brackets, a Maori word for gifting and contributing. Okay, okay. Um, kahonas, ah, the kahonas. I was thinking kahonas was something else, you know. Uh, anyway, keep up the outstanding work. I'm sure it'll be a success. Kind regards, Ben. Now, Ben, I expect you didn't didn't expect me to read this out, but this is a really lovely email, dude, and I super, super appreciate your feedback. And I don't have a PO box number, and as much as I'd love to, for you to send me some Jack Daniels or Mount Gay or whatever you guys drink in New Zealand, um, I can't do that, man. I can't accept this. I do this, you know, because I love it, and I never had um, lessons and stuff as a kid. And I wish that YouTube was around and, um, and there were people teaching me how to do some stuff. And so, you know, that's payment enough. Just this email is payment enough. So thank you. Thank you so much, Ben. That's super, super kind of you. And uh, keep on watching and, and uh, keep on learning, man. It's rock and roll, yeah? Okay, so I've got another question here. And it's from my you name lass. Okay, and this is from five days ago. Uh, you're the number one bookmark in my list. Wow, thank you very much. When I wake up, this is the first channel I check for updates. Cool, man. Well, good morning if you're just watching this. 
Um, keep up the amazing work. P.S. Can you teach us how to identify the key of a song or listening to a lick or melody and saying what the key was played in? Thank you very much. Um, yes, it kind of comes with a little bit of experience. So um, as a rule of thumb, it's not always the way, but if you're, if you're listening to a track and you've worked out the chord sequence or you've looked up the tab or whatever, uh, GDC, nice and easy. The number one chord in this sequence is what? It's the first chord is G, okay? going to be your key man okay um, sweet child of mine or something and the first note sorry that first note is D okay 12th fret on the D string the first chord in the sequence is D So it's kind of something that comes in time, but use that as a rule of thumb. And as your ear develops, you'll be able to pick this stuff up. So listening to a lick or a melody and trying to work out the key, that's a little bit more difficult. So start off with the chords and stuff like that. So, you know, um, most of the time, if I'm trying to work out, you know, what key the track's in, I'm always listening to like perhaps the bass player Maybe it's a little bit easier because the, the guitars might be doing something. They might be doing something crazy, but you might get the bass holding down that root, you know, and I think, oh, all right, the bass is playing E. So I can play an E minor pentatonic over the top of it. And it's going to work lovely. So it, it, you know, working out the chords and stuff first is going to be great. Practice your pentatonics and practice playing them over different songs. So once you've done the whole game of working out the keys and everything with songs, with your chords, practice it again, but with the pentatonics. See how many songs you can play the pentatonic over and, and pick different keys. Something I do with some of my students is randomly pick out backing tracks on YouTube. Just type in backing track. You know, I don't tell them what the key is, and then I get them to work it out. So that's something you can try out as well. Just random backing tracks off, off YouTube. But it just put rock backing track, see what comes up, okay? And, uh, and it's, it's basically just trial and error, guys, all right? The main thing is keep playing, developing your ear, and it will come in time. You have to trust me on that one. So finally, um, this is from another Ben. Um, uh, Manzenberger, perhaps. Um, this was a great lesson, but I've got to say, I feel that you've left the verse chords out. Listening to the track, ah, this is um, this is referring to Stevie Ray Vaughan's Pride and Joy. Okay, so yeah, um, I feel that you've left out the verse the the verse chords out. Listening to the track, everything is right on point up until it gets to the verse, and the song leaves me. Uh, what is he playing during the, the, the chorus and verse? Thanks, mate. So in the verses, the bass player is holding down the progression, okay? Uh, so it's just E. So Stevie Ray, because he's singing and playing, he's just kind of doing this... some bits in between. So it's just E, holding down the E, and it goes to A. So then it goes to B, which is a turnaround. We were playing it like that in the intro. And A. I'm just a little lover boy.
So yeah, it's pretty much that progression at the end of the of the intro. It's that shuffle, okay? Check out my uh, blue shuffle video. E then A, back to E. B, A, E. Okay guys, so I hope that helps. Uh, thank you for subscribing, thanks for tuning in, and please give me the thumbs up if you like this lesson. Uh, please put comments below, anything, you know, questions you have, put them in an email, fire them over. I will try and reply to all of them in time. Keep on playing guys, thank you so much for the support. I can't tell you how much I appreciate it. As soon as I got those t-shirts, I get them out, and you know, if you want to buy them, great. Like I said, I might even give some away. Enjoy, see you later.